Greetings and well met, my friends. How you doing? How you doing? It is I, Vincenzo. A, be a beardless, a beardless Vincenzo. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, everyone? Hello, Queen Lina. Are you ready? Are you ready for episode 69 with me? Are you ready? Trust me, you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna enjoy it. Hello, Arkan. Every time, every time I had an episode of 69 with a lady, she enjoyed it. This is our episode 69. Ah, oh, god damn it. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? How is your evening going, my friends? So... <clears throat> Getting my palette ready. Uh, will you be backing the new scale color Kickstarter? Uh, I I have to check the pricing and everything. I have no idea, honestly. I haven't even checked the colors yet. I don't even know what's inside of it. Uh, I I read that there are a few fluo colors of which I don't care. Uh, but if there are uh, other normal colors from the from the range, then I might actually because I do like those colors. Today on my stream, we worked on uh, this dude. Uh, started working on sketching the OSL on the back of the leg. Painted one of the torches. It's a slow burner, this one. I also painted a bust of uh, Gal Gadot in uh, Wonder Woman version. And uh, I've been also working on my Patreon. Doing a lot of non-metallic on this dude. So this is, uh, this is to catch up with what I have done over the course of the week. So, today, with you, my friends, we are back to work on our little Aladdin dude. Our Pala dude. Uh, the other day I was working on a Nometallic and I might as well continue that. So, yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Let's get to it. gonna load a very strong white on my palette for the lights let there be light on our metallics um yeah i'm gonna finish the non-metallic and then we can get the face sorted out it's gonna be a bit hard to reach in there um considering that it's behind the shield but we can do it we can do it uh, there's not much left to paint, so we should be able to, we should be able to call this guy down tonight, if all goes well. Oh, really, matte inks? Wow, that's interesting. That is interesting. To be fair, though, uh, when it comes to matte colors, I I have the Molotov ones, which are pretty much exactly that. Okay, so working on the metals. I already have a bunch of them painted up from uh, last time we worked on this dude. So all I gotta do is uh, gently, gently push the light, increasing the, the contrast. On the main highlight at least.
There we go. Very gently, yes. Super gently. I'm gonna take care of this model. I'm gonna do my best to make this model feel good. In our episode 69. Quindly pretends that she doesn't enjoy these kind of these kind of chats, but in in truth she does. <laughs> you should. <clears throat> So the idea here is that I can insist a bit more on the light, uh, making sure that I get a more clean coverage out of it, applying a few layers of color to gain full coverage. Hello, Ray. Uh, it is I, Miniature Scan. One thing that is important to know when painting is that despite using a color on a mini, that color doesn't always dry to look exactly like the colors you picked up on the palette, which means that it's important to look at the mini and go if the color that you are having is actually the one you intended or if it's a grayer, more thin version of it because especially when working with light colors, they tend to dry a bit transparent. So working, uh, working with opacity, trying to achieve that opacity that you want out of your colors is important. Now, Reaper paints don't have much of a problem in this department because they, have, they are very opaque. And that's what makes them, one of the many things that make them incredibly good paints is the opacity. As always, if you guys have any questions about what I'm doing or any painting technique that might be interesting to you, feel free to ask. I'll be super happy to answer if I can. At the moment, I'm just, as I said, layering a couple of uh, white very bright color over my my paints here to to make them uh, to make them push a little bit more
It's important to keep the light small though, in the sense that uh, it, when you're painting non-metallic or in general anything, it is very easy to get carried away in uh, highlighting and uh, this kind of carried away effect will make you lose all of the colors between light and shadow, the mid-tones, which are very important. One second. I'm sorry. So yeah, it's important not to do that because if you over push the light in size, what's going to happen is that it's going to eat away all of the previous colors that you painted and uh, that's going to make the model not look lighter, but simply more pale. If I were to increase the area of this white any more than this, it would slowly start taking away all of the grays that I built and that will in turn make the shoulder pad no longer look like a metallic object but rather it will look like a white shoulder pad because we are changing the mid-tone um, the, the, the mid-tone idea is a bit of a complex one in a sense that uh, um, when you're painting I'm looking for a color when you're painting um, you will always have mid-tones if you are highlighting and shading, whether you know it or not. A mid-tone is the color that is in between light and shadow. And uh, if, you're, if you're painting efficiently and correctly, the mid-tone is also the color you want the objects to be. For example, if I want my, my cape to be red, the color between the shadow and the light will be red. Uh, that color, the color of shadow can be a more blue color, more a more purple color, and the light can be an orange even. It doesn't matter, it will still look like a red cape as long as I manage the mid-tones well. If I start highlighting too much or I shade too much, the, ch the color of the cape will change because I am going to be eating away at the mid-tones and that's in turn going to change the perception of what is what. So the, the interesting part is working on exactly that, managing the mid-tone. It's a very difficult thing. Um, most painters lose the mid-tone in the process of painting as they are light, especially if they work with a brush and especially if they tend to blend. The mid-tone will get lost. Hello, sweet. Because as you as you work your colors in there to get them to blend, the original, real color will be lost in the various mixes you created to blend. But, thankfully, we are given a tool which allows us to regain the mid-tone fairly easily, which is glazing. So if you ever feel like the, the color of an object that you painted and highlighted and shaded doesn't quite look like the thing you want it to look like as a color, that will mean that you lost the mid-tones and you can regain them simply by glazing the mid-tone over the entire material. Yes, Ray, what a, what a, what a genius painter. I punch it back into submit. That's very, that's very alpha of you. I tried it, but uh, it didn't work. But yeah, the, the mid-tone thing is a, is a very cool trick that uh, you can use uh, to... to never really lose track of it. Oh, pizza's good.
So I'm just gonna keep working on this, applying more lights on the armor. How's your day been? Because like today, today I had a pretty poopy day. Not exactly have any reason for it. I just, I just woke up in a bad mood and apparently lots of my viewers also had the same issue. So how are you Reaper people feeling today? Are we all having a collective bad day? Yep, nice. I mean, nice. A little bit. I'm sorry you're having a bad day as well. Sorry, Grindley. We have decided. The council has decided that your day has to be shit. Hello, regular. How's it going? How's it going? Do you like my new beard?
everyone is just seems to have constant low level anxiety these days well for for the right reasons too these are uh, these are uh, complex times we live in Maybe, maybe that's her bad day. Yeah, maybe that's her bad day. Me shaving. Is it really that bad for you? Like you really aren't able to recognize me now? Hello, Lou. It's weird, but like, I think I'd walk past you on the street. Wow. Same. Man. That is crazy, man. I am not a child! Shut up! Yeah, that's what I don't. That's why I don't like shaving. I I look. 
I feel like I look too young when I shave. Like, I don't think I look 30 anymore. I think I look like 25 or something. Which I guess it's a good thing, but for me, I don't know. No moneta. I'm an hallucination. Oh, am I? So just working a little bit on cleaning up these colors. Then we can work on the, on the front loin cloth. And once we have the, that painted as well, we can start glazing the colors over this uh, these armor. And then do one more light and we should be good. After that, we will be able to work on 
another mini. on the chest Okay. Gotta take us like a five second break because I wasn't able to, to, to have my BBD. I had to rush to the computer after dinner and everything, so. But it was literally 10 seconds. In the meantime, I can look for a color to put on my puppet. Um, Putting the thermometer in your bum hole is uh, the most accurate one, but I'm not sure uh, I would do that. Honestly. Hello, Asgard. How you doing? In your bum. In your butt. In your Arsha, like they would say in Germany. I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Uh, just getting my palette prepared.
Yeah, don't do it with the Mercury one, because if it breaks inside of you, it's gonna be very painful. And if you survive the cuts, you're gonna get freaking uh, madness because of the Mercury. Actually, Mercury thermometers are illegal right now. At least in Italy, they don't sell them anymore for the last 10 years. You look so young. But it's because you're not used to seeing me shaved. It's not because I actually am young. I don't think I... I don't think I look so young. Do I look young, really? Guys, something terrible is happening. Something that never happened on this stream before. I think, I think I have to. No, I have to poop. I, 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 I can't survive another hour and a half. I have to go. I have to go. I'll be back, I'll be back shortly, I promise. I'll, it'll be as fast as I can.
Sorry. 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 Sorry, I'm here. Hello. Sorry. Sorry. Hello. Okay, back to painting. So, um, as I did the other time, I'm just going to be working on stippling in this reddish color. And then we will be able to do one more light with an even lighter color. No, when I have to go, I have to go. Okay, so with this done, we can um, we can add some reddish reflections to the armor simply by glazing a color in there. Oh my god, no, they lag again. Why every two weeks we have to lag on this stream? I don't understand it. Mm. 
Yeah. Yes, we are. I don't know, I see the, the thing in red. Yeah, we're lagging. Okay, well, okay, well, it's saying that I am lagging internet wise, my computer is fine. But whatever, at least we are on the same universe. Okay. Okay, okay. 
Okay. Well, I'm just working on quickly cleaning up. Uh, but I think we can start doing our uh, our BBD highlights. So I'm just gonna slap an orange, a yellow. <clears throat> On top of this armor, and we should be pretty good, I think, with that. Then all we have left to do is the face and the leathers, and we're good. Man, it's so freaking hot here. Summer is coming with a bang this year. Like, if this is just May, I cannot dare imagine how July will be. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, I will always complain about the heat.
Do you just gotta stop feeling hot and control your sweating? But I am not I am not a wise a wise a wise shaman. I don't know how to do that. Right. Thank you, now I understand. Should we call it a day, guys? Yeah, I mean, I'm watching the stream. It's, 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 it's very, it's very unwatchable. Let's do this. Uh, let, let's finish this guy next week. I don't wanna. I mean, I, I wanna, I wanna paint, but with people that I know they're watching. Uh, I don't want to have like all of this lag. I'm gonna try to. Uh, um, 
If you can, Quindly, send a message to Justin. Ask him what the heck they're doing. Uh, what the heck they're doing on Wednesday's evening? Because it's it's weird that only on my stream this happens. It's like they they download stuff or something, and I don't understand. I'm not sure I understand. But yeah, let's uh, let's finish this guy next week. So I wish you all a fantastic day. You're probably gonna hear this in five minutes, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go offline, I guess, and. Uh, Let's try to figure this out, so it doesn't happen again. See you later, boys. I'll be live again on my own stream Friday. Take care.